Top CP. Welcome back to the little border town of Rio Mantica for another game of Dead Man's Hand. Tonight we will be playing a custom mission. It's going to be Desperados versus Cowboys. So in this one the Desperados are coming into Rio Mantica to again try to kidnap famous Mexican bullfighter Eduardo Carroccio and hold him for ransom. So that's Eduardo there with the green. He is in his compound here having a little dispute with his wife apparently. And he does not know that the Desperados are coming to capture him. The Desperado player will break his unit or his group, uh, team up into three different groups, I should say, as equally as possible. And they can enter in any configuration on any road in town. And they have to get into the compound, they have to get Corocho, subdue him, and get him off of the board via one of the roads. Corocho himself will be controlled by the cowboy player. And he will have three actions. He can't shoot. All he can do is move, but he can move and try to evade capture. He can do that by either trying to link up with the cowboys. He can go into a building. Whatever he thinks he needs to do to stay safe, he will do at the discretion of the cowboy player. The cowboys, meanwhile, will be starting in any of the buildings on the board, except for the buildings in the Corocio compound. So they're in town. Uh, they're washing the trail dust out of their throats at the saloons. Uh, the praying in the church, wherever they might be, uh, they're going to be broken up into four groups and placed around the board in buildings. Uh, they are also going to be drunk and disorderly, which means that they cannot, or they're only going to have two actions until one of them is killed. And they won't come out of the any of the buildings until Carocchio sounds the alarm. So he'll shout out, hey, uh, Desperados, or whatever the hell he's going to say. He'll say it, and then they'll start coming out. So the Desperados will have a chance to set up around the compound before they make their move to try to grab Carocchio. Quickly, we'll talk about the terrain and some other little things that we're going to do differently this game. I'd first like to mention our channel sponsor, Geek Villain. This is their mat. This is the Wild West Town mat. Super cool. Um, all his mats are really good, so if you're looking for a mat, I would definitely check out Geek Villain. Other than that, cover is not a huge part of this game. Essentially, it's a minus one to hit if you're, shoot, if you're shooting at someone behind cover. That's about all it does. And we will make that call uh, when we do the sh shooting if they're going to get the minus one or not. We also have some new models, civilians and horses. Uh, the horses are going to be tied up to these hitching posts around town. The horses will not move through the, throughout the game. They will essentially be cover. We also have a bunch of new civilian models that I just painted up. So there they are, and what we're going to do is try to incorporate them into the game. The idea here is the civilians will stay, pu stay put until the shooting starts. Once the shooting starts, they will try to move to cover and stay six inches away from any, any of the belligerents in this game, cowboys or desperados. Uh, they're going to have two moves, and they will move two times any time a unit gets within six inches of them. Uh, if they can't get more than six inches away, they'll just stay where they are and try to find cover. So we'll see how it works. Um, my idea here is that neither side is going to be able to shoot through the models. Even the Desperados. The Desperados operate in this area. They have to come to this town. The last thing they want to do is piss off all the town people and have them try to kill them on site when they show up. If after everything, uh, if after all the moving, a civilian is in between two models that are shooting at each other, the model shooting is going to have to use one of his actions to order the civilian to get out of the way. So we'll see how it works. Uh, I'm thinking it could add a little bit of uh, more tactical variety to the game, maybe. maybe. Perhaps you can use the civilian to shield yourself, or maybe somehow find a way to use them to your advantage. Or it could just be a total uh, mess and bog down the game. And then if that happens, we'll just pull them off the board. It's just an experiment. So anyway, let's take a look at the forces. We begin with the Desperados. So this is 21 point or 21 reputation, it's called. 
And the boss of the Desperados is Padilla's brother. So we're just going to call him Padilla as well. Uh, he's the boss of the big man. And then next to him we have the killer. He is Cuchillo Sandoval. He's got the two pistols, which means he can never run out of ammo. Next to him we have his brother Miguel Sandoval with the repeater. We got Dan Beersford with the rifle. We have Sancho Perez with his sh uh, shotgun. Tuco with a pistol, and then finally Herman the Mad German Stein with pistol as well. That is the Desperado faction. Next we have the Cowboys. So leading the Cowboys is the range boss, Bruder. He's got a pistol. Next to him is the man with no name, essentially the equivalent of the killer or a marshal in the lawmen. So the second best guy, but he's a better shot. And he is, that's what he's called, the man with no name. He happens to be the same model as the man with no name, but we are going to give him a name, and it's going to be Manko. Next to Manko, we got, uh, who is that, Shiving with a rifle. Next to Shiving, we got Bruder with his shotgun. And then we have Ramon with a repeater. Next to him, we have Jeff Smith with pistol. And then finally, Alfred Wallace with pistol. So that is both factions. Now, when Robert gets here, I'll brief him on the uh, mission. We'll pick sides and we'll start the game. Quick uh, clarification here. I think I said Bruder was both the range boss and the shotgun. Bruder is the shotgun. We're going to have Charlie Wait as the range boss. All right, so Robert's arrived. He's been briefed. He's going to be the Desperados. I'm going to be the Cowboys. And we both have a hand of five cards. Now what I'll do is I will place my Cowboys in the buildings. All right, so the Cowboys, how am I going to deploy? I'm breaking them up into four groups. The first group is going to be the range boss, Charlie Waite. He's going to be along with Josh Bruder with his shotgun. And they're going to be deployed into the church, covering that road there. Second group is going to be Lars Shiving and Jeff Smith. As Shiving's got his rifle, Smith's got his pistol. They're going to be in this building right here. In the building next to them is third group. It's going to be Ramon with his repeater along with Alfred Wallace and his pistol into the saloon here. And then finally, in his own one-man group, is going to be Manko. He is my man with no name, with his pistol, and he's going to be in this building here. So these two groups are going to cover this area. The range boss and Bruder are going to cover the church in that road. And then Manko is going to cover this road and be able to go Either way, uh, whichever way he deploys on, or if he comes out here, uh, I'll be ready. So that's where I'm going to put everyone, and we'll go ahead and get started. So since I am unaware, I am in the buildings doing what I'm going to do. Um, there's not really any point in pulling cards for me, so we'll just let Robert bring all his groups on. And the second Eduardo Carocchio detects one of them, we'll be back. Robert has brought his entire force in, the whole Desperado gang, all on that road. And uh, yeah, so now we'll just keep, we'll go ahead and just let him start moving. And once he, Eduardo Carocchio gets to him, all right, and once he notices them, we'll uh, be back. So they've moved around here. They got to the fence or the gate and Carocchio saw them through the gate. So that is going to alarm these guys here. He is going to go after Carocchio. He's within range and try to subdue him. So we're, we're just going to pull one card each and whoever is the high card gets to move first. A five and nine. So you get to go. So we get up to Carucio. Well, one. You have to do one at a time. Okay. Right? All right. So Padilla is going up to try to subdue Carucio. Yep. So Carucio cannot fire, but he can fight in hand. So Padilla has made it, and they're going to fight. So Carucio is a, a bullfighter, and he's a plus two. So I got a seven. Okay, and then I am a zero. Eight. Eight. So I take an under fire. Oh. Marker. So Carruccio has landed a blow on Padilla, and that'll do it. So they're still fighting, Padilla and Carruccio. Uh, that, that fight will continue. We'll just do initiative card next time. So now we're going to be doing the next turn, okay. which means initiative cards. We draw in the first one. We draw and look at our first one. Wins the ties. Yep. And then you're going to get to place first. So I, I did. So. All right, I'll put one there. And then everybody else gets. And then we'll place the rest of our cards. Multiple people in. I have guys in three different buildings, four different buildings. That's um. 
So, uh, looking at the cards. Never more than one model. Looks like okay. Sancho Perez there has the ace. Mm -hmm. Over here, Padilla has beaten Carocho by one. And then we got a bunch of mid-level cards. So, first up is going to be Sancho Perez. So we had a bunch of movement. Mm -hmm. Sancho Perez moved back there. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, Cuchillo and Tuco have moved behind the well. And then I pulled... Jeff Smith came out. Remember, these guys are drunk. They only have two actions. So they're stumbling out drunk. Jeff Smith and Alfred Wallace have stumbled out of their respective buildings drunk. Over here, I had two sevens. So the the range boss, Charlie Waite, has run back here behind the blacksmith. And uh, Bruder is just going to stay in the church with his double barrel shotgun. Finally, we're down to the fives. He's got two fives. I have one. He won the he won the tie breaker, so he's going to go first, and he's going to go with uh, Padilla. Padilla. So I get a plus one for being a boss. I get a plus one for having the initiative because it counts as initiating the fight. But you get a plus one because I have an under fire marker. Okay. Um, it's rolled up. So I'm a six, and you're a seven. I take another under uh, fire. Eduardo Carocho is beating Padilla down. You don't go after a bullfighter, man. They don't play around. So the next five is going to be Herman the Mad German. Herman the Mad German, who's... I had Raul come out. So the first four, I'm going to do this. The second four, Carocho, he can't do anything. But I did come out with Ramon. And we're going to take a shot at his uh, uh, rifle guy, Beersford, up there in the church bell tower. Minus two. It's Nothing. a miss. Okay, so that's it for the fours, and the last thing is the two, which is... My repeater. Your repeater up there. I'm going to aim... Miguel Sandoval. And fire at him. Aiming and firing at Alfred Wallace. Okay, yep. so it's just going to be long range. Long range, aiming, and you move twice, right? Yep. So, so minus, minus one. Two. No, because long range is minus one. Aiming yeah, is plus it's one. Yeah, minus one for every one the target has moved. Right, okay, so minus two, okay? So again, I can't die this time. Nope. It's a miss anyway. <laughs> okay. Well, civilians are going to panic. Yes, now the civilians will move. The civilians have scattered. We have a lady that ran back over there. This guy's ran up there. She's ran over there. The guy by the horses ran back here. She's taking care of her there. <coughs> there was two people in front of this building where Manko came out. They're over here now. This hobo is hid behind those boxes. The lady moved into the uh, into there, and then we got a lady. Don't forget this lady here. Oh yeah. Oh, she's gonna run. Just find some cover behind the wall. Okay. Blacksmith's too busy to care. And yeah, he's 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 he can't hear anything. <laughs> and then and then and that's it. So now on to the next turn. First, we'll take a look at it and place. I guess it doesn't really matter. I'm gonna put it on there. Okay, place the rest of the cards. So the king, first thing is Shiving is going to go first. He has a rifle, so I could try to take... Well, no, I can't really shoot into combat or through it. Nope, plus you got a bunch of civilians in the way. So I got a king and a jack and then a bunch of low a bunch of low cards. And then you're pretty much all middle of the road. You got a queen. I got a queen and... That's Tuco. And Tuco. And then everybody else is low. Okay. All right, uh, so we're still drunk and disorderly. Mm -hmm. So let's go, we'll go ahead and start moving. So after Shibing moved up, he really had nothing. The next thing was Tuco, the queen. He has moved up twice. He's going to take a shot at Shibing at minus three. Uh, oh, he's out of, ammo. out of ammo. Tuco's gun is jammed. So that's the queen. Next is the jack, who's, is, which is Ramon. So I'm going to have Ramon just stay, stay still here with his repeater. And we're going to fire up there at Beersford again in the bell tower there. Okay. So I'm going to aim with the first shot. Actually, no, I only get to aim and fire once because uh, I'm, I'm still drunk. <laughs> oh, yeah. You only get one so it's just minus one this time. Yep. So I need a 20 to take you down. No. <laughs> no he's out of ammo. ammo. Click. What's happened to give a drunk guy the uh, repeater? So that was the jack. Yep. What do we got next here? I see a... Uh, I have two eights. I see a nine. Carocio is Carocio. a nine. Um, so is um, Bruder. Bruder's also a nine, huh? No, he's an eight. Oh, wait. 
Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, Bruiser's mm -hmm. a nine. Okay. Plus Kurocho three. Kurocho is fighting. And I'm a plus one. I'm a plus three. You get one for the initiative, and I've got two uh, under fire markers. Okay. So this could be it for Padilla. Uh, you win by two. So you're up to four. Four. Oh, damn. Yeah. <laughs> get, talk about getting beat down by the uh, <laughs> the victim. Yep. <laughs> okay, that's the... Uh, the first nine, the second nine is Bruder. I'm mm -hmm. not going to do anything with him. He's just going to stay in the church. So now on to eight. Shiving, rifle. Oh, <laughs> two. Three. Shbang! He double aimed at Ramon and yeah. missed. So then my next one is the repeater. Is two gonna, eights. Okay, yeah, he's going right. to aim and take two shots at both of the guys in the bell tower there. Um, who that guy is? Alfred Wallace. Alfred Wallace. Okay. So it's long range. Yep. But the aim cancels it. It's going to be zero and then minus two. Okay. So zero first. Sixteen. Sixteen. Oh boy. That's an under fire marker and a nerve test. It is. Okay. So their nerve is. He is a regular cowboy. Uh, four plus plus the one. So I need yep. a five. You need a five. Oh yeah. He he's a too drunk ten. to care. That's true. Here's the next shot with the repeater. I can't see it. Lift to seven. So it's a, it's a miss. Five. So it was a under fire marker on Wallace, and that's both eights. And we'll I figure it out. Six. Sancho Perez, he did nothing. He's just going to hold position there. Cuchillo, on the other hand, moved up twice, mm -hmm. and he is going to fire at Shiving. And he's going to use a special ability to fire again. So it's going to be minus one for your moving. Um, it's minus one for me moving, minus two for you moving, total net minus three. But then you get a plus two for being But it gets a plus two, so it's a net min minus one for the first shot. Ten goes to a nine. That's a miss. Second shot. Minus two is Another a miss. miss. So two misses by the killer. That was his three. I got a couple of threes. He's not a very good killer. I got Manko and I got Wallace. Wallace pulled the under fire marker and he's advanced his last action up to there, and Minko has moved up twice to those crates. Last thing is going to be Jeff Smith, and he is just going to move up twice um, over this direction, which means this guy is going to run screaming off this direction to get away from everyone. And then the last thing is going to be Herman the Mad German under there with his Joker. Herman will stay there, and We'll take a look at the civilian, see if anyone needs to move, and then we'll be back for the next turn. So take a quick second to think about what we might want to do with the card that we get. So let me know when you're ready. I'm ready. Okay, look. Ah, not fast enough, not fast enough. I got a damn good card, damn it. Ah, all right, I'll just place at my leisure then. So we'll finish placing. Shiving will be going first. Oh, clear all the movement markers. Yep. We have some guys out of ammo too, so we're gonna have to pull some ammo mm -hmm. or re do some reloading. So Shiving's going first, but the important thing is Padilla has drawn a higher card than Carocio, so he could break off. Mm -hmm. Other than that, I got a bunch of low stuff over here. It's all low stuff over here. Mm -hmm. Looks like after the king and the jack, nine is the highest, and then it's just mixed in after that. So first one will be Shiving. Yep. Uh, Shiving, still buzzed, so I can't do a, a double aim with his rifle, but I will just take an aim shot. So I need a, uh, well, I'm a plus one. You're a plus one. <laughs> Out of ammo. Out of ammo. But I got a two, right? I think a natural one's always out of ammo. Oh man, that's two guys out of ammo. <laughs> that sucks. I'll check that. Damn you. Okay. These drunk guys are running out of ammo a lot. Well, next up will be, it looks like uh, Cuchillo is going to be returning fire. So Cuchillo has a. Uh, Pulled an under fire marker. He has moved up. He is within point blank range now with his pistol, which gives him a plus two. He's a plus two naturally as a killer. So a plus four at Shiving. Ten. Oh, still only a ten, which is a miss. Oh man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that could have been ugly. Could have been. <laughs> should have been ugly. Okay. Uh, that was that. So next up, we drop all the way down to looks like a nine. A nine, I think so. Yeah. It's going to be Jeff Smith. Jeff Smith has stumbled up to the, the behind the uh, stagecoach, and he's going to take a shot at Cuchillo at minus one. Two. Two. 
It's a miss. Miss. Okay. Next up is going to be eights. Oh, yeah, I got two. Two so eights. Herman the Mad German. And Sancho Perez. Sancho Perez, he's just holding position. And Herman has come out, moved twice, and he's going to take no, a shot. No, he moved once. Moved once, and he's going to take an aim shot or two shots? Uh, he's going to take two shots. Two shots at shiving, so is he's, I guess he'll get cover. I don't think so. All right. it, it looks clean. Okay, so it'll be just what a minus. It'll be even up and then a minus one for the second shot. Okay. Um, roll it right here. See if we can First shot, it. 16. Oh. It's an under fire marker and a nerve test. Shaving. Okay, so nerve test. It's the uh, orange yeah. D10. Oh, yeah, the D10, here we go. He's a four, a five. Oh no. Ooh. He takes another under fire marker. So he's got two now. Yep, and it's a minus one for the next shot. Okay, go ahead. It's a miss, it's a six. But he does have two under fire markers and he is out of ammo. That'll give him something to think yeah. about. Uh, <laughs> so next up looks like is uh, sixes. So Padilla. Padilla. Padilla's gonna break off. I figured as much. And clear two under fire markers. <laughs> So Padilla was able to break off, took two moves to break off, and then he used his last one to pull one of his four under fire markers. Yep. So the next six is going to be Alfred Wallace. Alfred Wallace. And Alfred Wallace is going to move up to the, we're saying we're going to be able to shoot through this. Yeah, because it's But open. you'll get substantial cover. cover. So he's going to move and then fire one shot. At? At Padilla. So it's so, a minus one for the boss. Yep. He moved twice. Padilla moved twice, so... So that's already minus three right there. Yep. I'm within eight. Yep, you're within eight, so and no it's negative. substantial cover, so... So a minus four? Minus four. Wow. Oh, you, can, you can do it. Come on, Wallace. You can get lucky. Ah, oh, darn. Yeah. So that's a miss. It's a miss. Calculates to a miss. That's fine. Five. So that was a six. Yep. Five will be Carocio. Oh, you have a five and I have a five. Okay. Yeah. And a minus two for the second. So Miguel Sandoval in the bell tower is going to fire again at Ramon. Miss. Miss. Oh, that's a Ooh. fourteen. Fourteen. Let's look at the chart. That's a under fire marker. So one under fire marker on Ramon. I think that horse is going to panic. <laughs> yeah, he's pretty calm. Uh, that was your five. So my five yep. is going Carucci. to be Carocio, who is half half tempted to charge in, into Padilla, but I'm not going to because he's just trying to get away. Carocio has ran back behind the stables with his five. Now we got uh, another five. Yep. That is Bruder in the church. Bruder came out. He's going to try to get into the Carocio compound. And Shiving is going to turn, aim, and take a shot. Beersford, at him. not Shiving. I'm sorry, Beersford. So hold on, before you make that roll, let me check my cards. I'm gonna, I am gonna play a card. Okay. What are you so playing? I'm playing this on Bruder. It's a spotted horse cannot be killed. Okay. So it means all out of action results become under fire and nerve test instead. Gotcha. Okay, so it's a net minus one because you double moved, but I aimed, and there is no close range benefit on a rifle. Nope. It's another miss. It's another miss. Wow. Some poor shooting in this game. That was your four, right? Yep. So I got uh, two fours left, and that is Minko and my range boss, who needs to get over here so we can start using his special ability. Manko has come out, or he moved twice up to the edge of to the edge of the blacksmith shop, and then the range boss Charlie Waits come around one, and he's going to fire up. Uh, at Beersford. So you're outside of four. With this pistol. Yep. And you're going to have cover. Cover. So it's going to be a minus one. Minus one with one shot, but he's a boss, so he gets plus one. It's even up. Come on, Charlie. Nothing. Uh, darn. Okay. That's both of mine. And then the last thing you have is you got a two. I got a two. Who, which one? Uh, oh. So he's unloaded. That's Tuco. So he'll have to reload. 
No, Tuco's gonna go attack you. Fisticuffs. Fisticuffs. Okay, so he's coming in and it's gonna be Tuco versus Wallace. So Tuco is going to fight Wallace. We'll roll right here. And you get a plus one, right? Yep. So you got a four. Five. Ooh! Oh. Four. You're dead. You just killed Wallace. Well, that sobers everyone up, though. Well, you're not dead. You're, you ran away. I ran off. Well, I'm unconscious. Yeah. Something happened to me. Bonk. I had a one. You, you had a... Yeah, that gives me four under fire markers. Yep. Alfred Wallace is down. And that is it for this turn. We'll look at our cards. Go. Uh, you beat me again. Mm -hmm. So that has not been to my advantage this game. Not yet. So we'll finish placing. Notice Tuco is right there next to Jeff Smith. <laughs> First up is going to be Sancho Perez, followed by Shiving, and then Carocho. And then over here is going to be Beersford. And then pretty much we'll figure out figure it out after that. So the first thing is Sancho Perez, who has been waiting patiently by that house. And you can take a triple move. To make a move over towards Eduardo Carocho. Yep. Mm -hmm. Shiving has pulled one under fire marker. He's reloaded, and then he's pulled moved one movement back behind that little cover there. Did you put a card on Bruder? Oh yeah, one of these is Bruder's. So that's, this is Bruder's here. Okay. Meanwhile, Carocio ran back around the back of his house here. And what's up next? A 10? So yeah. your 10 goes before my 10. Your 10 is Beersford with a rifle. Yep. First thing is he was gonna have Bruder, I'm sorry. Beersford. Beersford try to take down Bruder from uh, top of the tower there. Mm -hmm. He's going to aim twice, so I'm going to do dust in your eye. Okay. It's a three. Do you have that? I do not. Dust in the eye. Play on the opposing model after it declares its action. Any bonus for aiming is lost. So it's even up? Just straight up. A uh, miss. Some bad rolling tonight. So that was your ten? Yeah. So my ten is... Harmonica. Yep. Jeff, Jeff Smith. Harmonica. So Smith has moved once behind here. He's going to take a shot at Tuco, who has ducked back. And he's still out of ammo. And still out of ammo. So that's his activation for the whole rest of this turn. However, I'm going to get a minus one for his one move. Another minus one for him making it to cover. So I'm at a minus two. Yep. Man, I can't hit shit tonight. Well, you're drunk. <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> we sobered up when you beat the hell out of uh, Wallace. No, you, you just got motivated. <laughs> okay, so that was uh, the ten. So I have two What's nines. Nine? Two nines, both in here. It looks like yep. Padilla and Herman. Padilla has moved behind the well. Yep, he's behind the well. And then Herman, the mad German, has moved full move all the way back there to try to cut off Carocio from getting around the backside of the house. Next up is sevens. So that'd be Sevens. Ramon. He'll mm -hmm. reload. Okay. He will take his under fire marker off and will just take a pot shot up at Beersford. Long range, minus cover, two. minus two. Nothing. Oh, I thought I was going to be an under fire marker. That's nothing. Uh, next is the six, and that's going to be Manko. Yep. I have a, Manko is going to take a couple of shots. So I'm plus one onto Beersford with my first shot, my aimed shot. So that's a 13. 13, it's an under fire marker. Okay, now we're starting to get somewhere. And a minus one on his second shot. Oh, Ooh, that was two under dancing. fire markers. Okay, Manko, he's putting the putting the hammer down onto Beersford. Next, we got a bunch of threes. Your three goes first, and that's going to be Miguel Sandoval up yep. there. Miguel the Sandoval. So, so the first Miguel shot. Sandoval is going to aim and fire at Bruder, but I'm going to play a card on you again. Okay. This is a two for a few bullets more. So after your I'm first shot, you run out of ammo. Okay. Canceling it. Canceling it. Yeah, well, I figured you had to have one of these at some point. Yeah. <laughs> so you're going to take two shots at Bruder. So an aimed shot at first. 18. Oh, shit. Oh, that's going to be an under fire marker and a nerve test. Oh. That was close. Yep. That was a close one. So it's going to need to five up. Passes. Yeah. Okay, so the second shot. Oh, another under fire marker. A 15. Yeah, that's another nerve 14. test, too. It's a 14. Oh, 14. That's right. It's you're a minus one. one. So he's up to two now, Bruder. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
I'm just taking some heat going across that road. It's understandable. Not enough heat. My threes. So my last three is going to be my range boss over here. Yep. We're just going to sit here and blast away up at the church at Beersford. Okay. So they will. he will take an aim shot as well. Is he long range? No, but he's not close range either. Okay, so he's just no, no modifier there. Yep. He's a plus one naturally for the boss and... Plus one for the aim, yep. minus one for the cover. So plus one on the first one. 18. It's an under fire marker and a nerve test. Oh boy. So a nerve test with three... Under fire markers. But you have a guy next to you, I think, so yeah. that gives you a plus one. So it'll be a, you'll be at a minus two. Oh, we failed. So he takes one more, so he's down. He's down. Shiving he's... is dead. No. Beresford. I'm sorry, I keep getting, I think that's the so model Beresford I've been using for Shiving this whole time. Ran off and hid in the church. I switched models up and it's throwing me yeah. off. Okay, so Beresford is gone. He's been driven away by the f combined fire of Charlie uh, Waite and Manko. And then a two is the last thing I have, and that's Bruder. Mm -hmm. He's going to pull one of his, and then he's going to do two moves as far as he can uh, into that hole in the fence, the gate, or the uh, wall there. So I should try to get him around, right around the outside edge of it, out of line of sight of your repeater. There you go. Well, it won't matter because Perfect. I'm higher. Okay. I'm far enough. And the last thing is Cuchillo Sandoval. Uh, he is uh, the last guy to go with the Joker. Mm -hmm. Not unloaded or anything, so I guess nope. he's ready to do something. Cuchillo has come around the corner right up into Shiving's face. A plus four shot right off the bat. Plus three. So it's a 13, because I forgot you moved. Under fire marker. Yep. So that was one move and one shot. And a plus two on the second. Oh. Six. It's a miss. It's a miss. But you are putting the pressure on him. Yeah. I do have you outnumbered over here, though. You have so outnumbered have that everywhere. Going. Uh, do have that going for me. So next is, uh, well, that's the end of the turn. So the next turn. turn. And look. Uh, yeah, you got it again. Okay. Um... <laughs> <laughs> uh, we'll figure it out. That could be a good spot for that one. The important thing here was that Cuchillo was out dueled or out out dueled <laughs> by going to play sodden by whiskey. I have, okay, what does that do? Play after all initiative cards have been dealt and revealed. You may swap one of the opposing models initiative card for another opposing models initiative card. What number is it? Four. Yeah, I don't have a four. Oh damn. Well, that might mean that Cuchillo is going to definitely go first now. Yeah. So he will swap that. Otherwise, it looks like Padilla. The six is on Manco. Yeah. We got a two back there with Tuco. I'll swap the six. What's that four for? Um. Looks like the first thing that's going to happen is. Gonna shoot Bruder some more. Miguel Sandoval is going to fire at Bruder. Plus one on the first shot. Minus one on the second. On the Bruder. You don't get the wall because I'm above you. Okay. First shot. <laughs> out of ammo. Out of ammo. Click. A lot of out of ammos. So that was your king. Next up, next up is going to be Padilla. Padilla with, with the jack. jack. Being a boss. So Padilla has moved up there with one. He's going to fire at Bruder. 18. Oh, that's a plus or, one. No, it's a 17. Oh, that's a okay. under fire with a nerve test. Uh, he's already got one. Yep. I think I took that other one off earlier. Okay, mm -hmm. so I'm at minus two on my nerve test. Oh Ooh. no, he takes another one. Uh, this could be it for Bruder because Padilla's got one more shot. Padilla's got one more shot and it's minus one. Okay. 12. 11. Yeah. It's under fire marker. Yeah, he's gone. Bruder has been driven off by Padilla. But he is down to one under fire marker now, so he's recovered nicely uh, since that beat down from Carocio earlier. And that was your jack? It's a jack. So, so I think, uh, so I have a 10? Yep. The man with no name. Manko. Manko. What I did was I had Manko moved up mm -hmm. to the building there, and then Charlie Waite, he's moved all three of his moves. He's actually standing inside the building looking out the door. Now we're down to the sixes, and that's these guys. So Cuchillo is going to get to go first. Cuchillo is going to shoot you three times. Okay, let me see if I got a card for this. 
I hope I do. I'm going to go ahead and use my quick draw rule, which means I'm going to get a shoot at him at the same time he shoots at me, but this will be all of my actions. And in the end, I'm going to be at minus two for my two under fire markers. He's going to be at plus four for the pistol and being the killer. <laughs> Ooh. That. That's a whiff. All right. Come on, Shiving. Be a hero. Yes! Oh! <laughs> under fire and a nerve test. A 20? Oh, no, that's right. Minus a minus two. two. Oh, yeah. Damn. Damn you, minus two. Okay, but still, that's not bad, so take a nerve test. Yeah. I think your nerve is three, yep. Yep. So, four up. Four up. I didn't care. It. Okay, that it was one shot. Mad, though. That was, it had definitely made him mad. That was one shot. Oh, so that's second. it for me. So yep. now you get two more shots. Plus three. Nine, that's nothing. Seventeen. That's an under fire marker. Okay, and I have two. Yep. And then another nerve test. Yep. You can fail it. Yeah, if I fail this, then shiving's out of here. Um, I'm a four, five, six. I think I needed a seven. Yeah, I think you did. Cool. Yeah, so he just passes. But I am one under fire marker away from yes, I'm gonna double check that. being running off. And I did the quick shot, so I can't use this now. Yep. So moving on, I have a five. You have a five over there with Herman. Equal to our above, yes. No, okay, five. Cool. So Herman will go next. Uh, he's going into fist. What was uh, what was um, Carocio's number? Four. Oh, okay. Right, so you're going to charge Carocio. Oh yeah. Bad idea. So Herman is going to try his luck at Carocio. So Herman's at a plus one. <laughs> ah, this could be a bad thing for could Herman. Could be a bad thing for Herman. Four. So take three under fire tests. So Herman takes three under fire markers. He's one away from dying. No one can seem to bring Carocio down. He is a bullfighter. He's a bullfighter. He's a pretty tough bastard. So, so your four is canceled. Okay. But your actually your other five gets my to go. five can go. Okay. Yep. Ramon turned, aim and fire at Cuchillo. Just an even roll. Sixteen. Under fire t and a nerve test. Yep. So that's one, and then take another nerve test this time at minus two. Two. And the five. Oh, he fails. Oh boy. Cuchillo is up to three Cuchillo's under up fire to three. now. Sancho Perez has come around, getting ready to do something back here against Carocio. Tuco has reloaded. Yep. And moved up to the gate. And, and he's going to shoot you. Who are you going to shoot? Jeff Smith? Jeff Smith. Okay. Um, to minus one because you're in cover. Okay. It's a oh, miss. A whiff. And then Jeff Smith is next, so he will fire at, at Tuco. Okay. To minus one. I will aim and even up. Uh, yeah, I aim. Let me think about this. Jeff is going to fire at Tuco. And then he's going to move, and then he's going to fire at Cuchillo. So it's a minus one at Tuco. Come on, Smith. A 17, so a 16. So under fire marker and nerve test on Tuco. Tuco. Ah, oh, he doesn't he passes, care. So just under fire. Yep. And then he's going to use a second action to move over here. And then we're going to take a shot at Cuchillo. Okay. And I'm going to be a minus one for the cover. And minus, minus one for the second shot. shot. Yep. So minus two. That's Miss. Right. And that should do it for this turn. Yep. Right, look. I think I got you that time. Yep. Okay. Now we will place. carocho has got a jack. Yep. That's the important one. Yep. But I have a queen over here with my range boss, Charlie Waite. Mm -hmm. I'm going to play a card. Okay. I'm going to play Sodden by Whiskey. Okay. So four. So after all initiative cards have been dealt and revealed, you may swap one of the opposing models initiative cards for another opponent opposing models initiative card. So I'm definitely going to switch this guy's with um, that guy over there, the Joker. Okay. Okay. Now first up will be the Queen. 
which is Charlie Waite. Mm -hmm. so I have uh, charged Miguel Sandoval with well, my Since we're fighting boss. up here. Yeah, we're fighting. I've come through. There's a trap door right there where Charlie's standing. And I'm charging into Miguel Sandoval. So I'm going to get plus one for being the boss. I get plus one for initiating. He gets plus one for being on higher ground. Uh -oh. I got a nine. Oh, that's not good. Okay, I need at least an eight here. No, you don't. Six so goes to, I beat you by one, you take an under fire I marker. I take one under fire marker. Okay. Well, we're locked in combat there. That's right, fine, though. Away. That means Manko can now move freely and kill Padilla. So that was the queen. The yep. jack is next, and that is over there, Carruccio, right? Yep. Or Here we go. to my zero. I'm just going to see if I can finish off the mad German. Well, I'm at plus four. Yeah. Yeah. Herman's down. So Carruccio has... Beat the hell out of Padilla and knocked out cold Herman the Mad German. So that is Carroccio. That was a jack. What's next? I got a nine. I have a nine. So, but you won the top. So my top. nine goes first. Yes. And that is Ramon. Mm -hmm. Next up will be uh, Ramon. He's going to move back behind here, behind this um, hitching post and horse. And right behind that fence there, or that gate, okay. is Tuco. So he's going to jump back, aim, and fire at Tuco. So it's going to be a minus one for the cover, even for the aim. So it's even. And make that a, it's a move, not under fire marker. So an even shot. Ooh. A 15. Yeah, that's an, a nerve test. Uh, no. 15? Oh, it is. Yeah, 15 to 18, yeah. Yep. So what, how many, uh, man, it's hard to see anything two. over there. He's got two already? Yeah, well, uh, no, that was the second. Okay, then this is the nerve test. Uh, I think he failed. Yeah, he failed. Takes another one. Yeah. So Tuco now has three nerve tests back there behind that gate. Yep. So Ramon did a good job, and... My nine. Your nine is back there. I'm tired of this. We're going to shoot him in the back. <laughs> You're going to kill Caruccio? No, I'm just going to, you know, wound him a lot. <laughs> <laughs> with a shotgun? With a shotgun. Okay, so you're not going to subdue him? You can't win the mission if you don't, if you kill him. He's easier to subdue when he's been shot a couple times. Okay, <laughs> that's true. Plus six. Shooting Carroccio. He's had it. Twelve. Oh. <laughs> that's an <laughs> under, under fire marker. An under fire marker. So Carroccio has dodged. And I'll reload the shotgun. He's beat two guys down. He's dodged the shotgun. So he's gonna reload his double barrel. That was a nine? Nine, so yeah. A seven. Next up is Jeff Smith with a seven. Yep. I'm gonna have Jeff Smith, I'm declaring I'm gonna move up to here, get try to get within point blank of him and fire twice. He is going to duck back. Duck back. Which gets him behind the wall. Okay, so I can't see it, so I'm just gonna move up to where I was. Well you still get the shot. Do it's I? just in a minus two. I get two. one shot. Yeah, and it's at minus two. Okay. So one shot at minus two, that's fine. As you're jumping the wall, I take the shot. Oh, oh man. thank God. Minus two though, but that's still another that's a, it's nerve, a nerve test. test. He's done. So he's how many does he have right now? Uh, he's got three, I don't think he can take five. I don't think so. Well, I nailed his ass, jumping the fence. Took one in the hind. No, he went, no, he went he over the fence off. and decided I'm done. <laughs> It's not looking good for the outlaws. They're pretty much pinned in there into the Carroccio compound. And they can't seem to bring down Carroccio. They weren't expecting so much of a fight from him. So that was the seven. Yep. What's next? You are five and then you are three. I had Smith pull two under fire markers and move one action up to there. So he's got a bead on Padilla. And then Manko has just moved his full move over to the wall over there. And I think that's it. So next next turn. Oh, he's got a two and a three, three. left. Okay, so first up is going to be... The three is um, Tuco. What is Tuco? He's got a bunch of under fire markers on him. Not anymore. So you're going to pull all of them? You're going to pull all of them. Okay. So then Padilla's only got one. What's he going to do? Padilla has pulled one of his, his one under fire marker. He's moved once to get right there in front of Manko, and he's going to take a shot at Manko at plus two. 
Fifteen. Fifteen. Under fire on a nerve test. Oh boy. Needing a four. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. It's Manko. It's the man. And the next no one's uh, plus two. Okay. Plus a plus one. Another, another one? And another nerve test. This one at minus two. Yep. Oh, he still makes it. So, yeah. Okay. We've taken two under fire markers. They're not horrible. That's the turn. And it's not great either, though. So that's it for the turn. Yep. Turn. Ready. Reveal. I think you got me there. Yep. All right. First up is going to be Padilla. Mm -hmm. He's a king. Mm -hmm. And he's going to declare what now? He's going to clear... The under fire marker. Okay. And he's going to fire twice. All right, I'm going to play a card. Okay. Maybe a few cards here. So an ace. Do you have an ace? I do. Okay, so you're going to cancel that out. What's your ace do? Play on one of your own models. So long as it has building or cover. When uh, opposing models activate and declares to take a shooting action, uh, the interrupting model may take three actions. Yeah, it has I'm to, cancel One that. of them has to be a move. So cancel it. Okay. All right, then. Well, I'm going to play... Uh, spotted horse cannot be killed by bullets. Okay. It's an eight. All out of action results are under fire and nerve tests. Okay. And uh, I'm going to play for a few bullets more. Mm -hmm. uh, you're going to run out of ammo after your first shot. It's a two. Okay. So that's three I burned right there. So here we go. One shot. Ten, and twelve. It's an under fire marker. No, it's a, sorry, it's a... You're yeah, plus, 12. yeah, okay. So it's under fire marker. So I'm up to three. And then you're out of ammo. Okay. I would have preferred to take a couple shots and move out <laughs> with that ace, but uh, he just happened to have one. Okay, that's Padilla. Mm-hmm. What's up next? I got a jack. Which I got is, a jack. Okay, so you place first, so your jack goes first, and that I'm is... going to go subdue Karachi and know that I've shot him. Oh, boy. Sancho Perez is going to take his chances at Carocio. So he's going to be at a plus two, so... Got a one. Caruccio. Roll a one. Well, I do, I'm at a minus one here because of the under fire marker. Or no, you get a plus, plus to, plus to me. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Seven. Dead. He ran away. Man, Caruccio. It's like Steven Seagal back there, man. <laughs> What's next? Uh, my Jack. So my Jack is Manko. Mm -hmm. Minko has pulled a under fire marker. He's going to aim and fire at Padilla. He's a plus three. Oh, Padilla's dead. 18 plus three. Minko has just blown Padilla's brother to hell. Next up is going to be Ramon. He is going to fire at Tuco, who is still, I can still see him, he's behind that gate. So he will aim and fire twice. So it's even up and then a minus two. Nothing. 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 Bing, bing. <laughs> so that's that. Next up is the range boss. Nope, Tuco. Tuco, what is I keep He's forgetting. a five. A five. Okay, what's he going to do? They ran like hell. Tuco is way the hell over here now. Full move, hop mm -hmm. the fence. Now it is going to be Charlie Waite. Yep. And I am at minus one on you. Minus two. Well, no, because we were even up, so yeah, it's a minus one. But you'd be, you'd be still be plus two. So I'm plus one, and you'd still be plus two, because you initiated the fight and were boss. Okay. But I have that. Oh, no, you get the plus one. Yeah. Sorry about that. All right, well, let's keep fighting. Eleven. Three. Oh, shit. You're dead. <laughs> dead? Dead. You're a five. Uh, I'm an eleven. Oh, my God. I threw you off the tower. Okay. Well, none of these fights have gone as planned. So Charlie Waite ran up there and got his ass tossed off the top by Miguel Sandoval. <laughs> That's the second time you've thrown someone off a building in this. Yes. <laughs> I think you did it a couple games ago, too. Um, well, and so passes Charlie Waite. Yeah, yeah. So Who's you got, next? Uh, you're two threes. Yeah, two threes. So I think I need to come around this corner and finish off Tuco. Balls are taking over. Yeah, and Sandoval's are going to take over the gang, I think, from now on. They're so, the only ones that have done anything. Um, so he doesn't have to take a big nerve test. He and it's a minus one for each model out of action. So I have lost five. I would have to lose four, so I'm a minus one. I have to beat a four. Okay. Here we go. I just he does, did. He does beat a four. Okay. So we're staying on the board. 
Do I want to? <laughs> the next question. Well, I don't think you're going to be getting uh, Carocio tonight. No, I don't. Carocio made sure of that. So we'll, we'll come back. Yeah. And it looks like the Padilla gang is going to get out of town while the getting's good. You mean the Sandoval gang? The, it is now the Sandoval gang. Because Padilla is very, very dead. Yeah, both Padillas, his yeah. brother and him. No, so well, the, Cuchillito just ran off, but... No, but Padilla's brother, the great Padilla, died oh. in the last game when Andre and I played. This was his brother who took over the gang. Uh, who got blown Padilla away by Manco. Anymore. So Padilla gang is no more. The Sandoval gang is now ascending. Well, <laughs> from the ashes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Rising like a phoenix from Arizona. So yeah, it was a, a good game. I think uh, Carruccio... Well, I mean, he stole the show. I, I, I don't think you could <laughs> say anything when I rolled one twice. Yeah, and nothing went according to plan for either of us on our attack, our uh, combat, close combat attacks. But uh, initially I was thinking, okay, did us grab Crocio, but then we were talking, it's like, yeah, he's a bullfighter, he's not just going to roll over, especially in his own... His own uh, Hacienda. His, yeah, it's, it's where he lives, it's his, his home turf. He's not going to just let these guys walk in and just march him out of there. He put up a fight. Beat the hell out of Padilla, who got out of there. Knocked the hell out of uh, Herman the Mad German, as mm -hmm. well as Sancho Perez. And he's behind the house, and he After survived Sancho two Perez. kidnapping attempts now. After Sancho Perez shot him in the back with a shotgun. Yep, yeah, he did take a shot at the shotgun as well. And then Charlie Waite, uh, the leader of the Cowboys, was tossed like a rag doll just right off of the top of the church by Miguel Sandoval. Uh, so I guess Miguel Sandoval will be the gang leader from now on. I guess so. As he's the only one who really has done anything this game. But yeah, it was a good game. Uh, just for a hastily thrown together mission, I didn't really put a whole lot of thought into it. It could have been, obviously it could be improved upon with some tweaks now that we played it once. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe I'll try to keep track of these and, and make notes and either uh, try it again sometime or maybe just give it, give it out for people to try themselves. If any of you guys want to try this one and just modify it, yeah, go for it. It's cool. Um, yeah, I thought the civilians were, they didn't really play any part in it. Uh, they weren't really supposed to be a big part of it. It was more that maybe there would be the off chance that one of them would be standing in the wrong spot mm -hmm. at the wrong time and someone would have to waste a valuable action to tell them to move. And it was mainly done to maybe give you a chance to get off the board. And maybe if you could somehow maneuver yourself to use them as human shields, mm -hmm. we'll say, <laughs> then maybe it could have done something, but pretty much they just all moved to where they were going to stay, and then they just stayed there. So that'll do it for this one. Uh, quick game, and pretty good. Mm -hmm. So uh, thanks to Robert for coming out. Thank you guys for watching, and check out our Patreon page if you want to... Uh, Get some behind the scenes looks here. Join our Facebook group as well. And that's really growing fast. And a lot of cool guys there. And uh, with that, we'll say good night. Thank you for watching. And we'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.